Hi everyone, my name is Mary and welcome back to Quinn Inc. Today in this video we are going to be sewing section 3 of the middle section all four parts together. So let's go ahead and grab all four of these parts. So this is 3.1 where you have, I have it right here, so you just have this little um, section of black here and it's one, two, three, four, five, and six in yellow. Okay, so that's 3.1, 3.2, and 3.3 are both going to be long pieces of black, nothing else. And then as for 3.4, this is the one where it has that whole yellow section, there's no black here. So let's grab all four of these parts and let's get started. Don't forget to grab a needle with a large eye hole. Make sure you have your thread ready. Um, this is the thread that I'm using. Um, it's called Coates and Clark. It's an outdoor one. It's 200 yards and it's exterior. This stuff is really tough and will not break. And then also don't forget to grab a pair of scissors. So let's go ahead and grab 3.1 and 3.2 to get started with sewing together all four parts of section 3. And also, if you made it this far into the video, don't forget to scroll down, hit that like button so I know that you're enjoying this video, and don't forget to subscribe if you would like to, to see more unique tutorials such as this one and other ones I will do in the future. Alrighty, without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, I am back and in order to get started with this, what you're going to do is you're going to take 3.1 and 3.2 and do it back to black like this. We're going to pinch at the top and we're going to pinch at the bottom and turn. If you would like to, you can get some pins like I have here on my little tomato and you can pin these sections just like this. Um, I would do the pins in a lighter color so that way you can see them as you are sewing down your work. Just like this, okay? I'm going to do it in white and yellow so I can see them. Also make sure that you have a bright light so you can also see your stitches as well. Um, just like I do here. So now we're going to turn our work and we're going to be looking at the top stitches right here like we always do and we're going to put our needle through the last two stitches on the top like this pull down and wait until you get a loop like this put your needle back through like to make that straight and then pull and then I like to go right back through make another loop and put my needle right through that also gives it more of a secure knot so that way it doesn't come apart and then all you have to do is go in and out of your stitches like this. Pull your needles out as you are sewing. Um, for something like this, you can also do a whip stitch if you sew fill. Nobody will see your stitches because it's black thread onto black thread. Alrighty, so I'm just going to do the sewing process and I will meet you down at the bottom. Okay, see you shortly. Alrighty, I am back and I made it down here at the very bottom. Um, I am just going to sew right into here. That's where I think my stitches are. Okay, I'm really sorry you can't see it very well, but I'm trying. There we go. And then we're just going to go back through that stitch so we can start um, tying off. So I'm going to put my finger right here, put my thread over it, and then pull. So I can start to make that loop, okay? And then I'm gonna put my needle through that loop, pull out, hold it with my two fingers as it's making a brand new loop, pull up to close off that loop, and pull down. And then put my needle right through there, pull out my fingers, and slowly just start to pull on my thread until I hear that click. And then I'm gonna put my needle right back through and then I'm going to cut my thread. And we're going to use this one for the next section. So let me just tie this real quickly. All right, there we go. Tie it off nice and ready. All righty, so that was 3.1 
and 3.2 sewn together. All right, so now we're gonna grab 3.3, and that one is just all in black again, and we're gonna get to sewing on that one. So let me grab it, and I'll be right back. All righty, I am back, and I grabbed 3.3. .3. We are now gonna connect it to 3.2. Pinch at the top, turn your work, pinch at the bottom. If you would like to, go ahead and pin it. Um, I'm not really gonna do that because I will pin it later. Alrighty, so now that you have your needle, sorry, you got caught on my hand. At the very top right here, we're gonna find our very last two stitches. Hopefully you can see those. Let's see if I can move my light. Okay, right there. So this stitch right here where my needle is under, and then of course this stitch right here, you'll see the two V stitches. So we're gonna put our needle right through there and pull down until we get that loop. And there is our loop. We're going to put our needle right through. I normally like to keep this nice and straight. And then we'll just start to pull. Whoop. Trying to figure out what's going on here with this loop. Oh, it looks like it went under. So we'll just pull, and then there we go. And then I'm going to go back through, and I'm going to make that second loop. So that way it's more secure. And I'm just going to pull right through. And there we go. And then I'm just going to start the sewing process going in and out of each of the uh, sides of the stitches just like this. And again, I will meet you down at the bottom once I have come close. Okay, and then we'll sew 3.4 to 3.3. All right, I will see you shortly. Alrighty, so I am back and I made it down towards the end. And so we just have one more little piece right here that we're going to sew, as you can move it out of the way. See right there, we're gonna sew that together. Okay, so this is where we're gonna finish it off. So what I normally like to do is turn my work to where I see the last two stitches on the very top right there, those little V stitches. And I'm gonna put my needle right through there. And then I'm going to put my finger on top and go right back through those stitches making a loop like this so we can start finishing it off. Put my needle back through that loop, pull my finger out, hold it with the two fingers, pull up and pull down. Put my needle right back through and start to pull until we hear a click and then put that right back through there and then we just take our scissors and cut off real quick. Okay, so now we're going to grab 3.4 and we're going to connect it to 3.3. .3. So let me go grab that real quick and I'll be right back with you. All right, everyone, I am back and I have my needle threaded. Sorry that my chair is squeaking, it is old. <laughs> so sorry about that. And my husband is snoring in the background. So make sure for 3.3 Make sure you have your 3.3 .3 and your 3.4, and this section of 3.4 is going to be connected at the top right here. So you're just going to pinch at the top and pinch at the side. Okay, just like that. Sorry, there was a little beetle fl flying around. Um, they come through our windows, are these little black beetles, and they end up flying all over the place. Sometimes it's hard to catch them. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pin this real quick. So that way we have it nice and flush. So let me just grab some pins real quick and just pin it in three spots like that. And then I just don't pin it down here because I know it's nice and flush. So now you're gonna grab your needle and you're gonna look for your last stitch on the top and your last stitch on this side as well. You're going to put your needle right through. Alrighty. And you're just going to pull until we make that loop. And then you're just going to put your needle right through that loop. And then pull again like that. Let me put my camera down. There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to go right back through that one again 
and make sure it's more secure. So I'm going to just put my finger right here and then pull until I have a loop and then put my needle through that loop and then pull again. Okay, and then I'm going to pull this out and I'm just going to start the sewing process. And just remember to go slowly, use your fingers as guides, try not to poke yourself. And what I mean by go slowly is your, your thread will tangle. So you just want to go pretty slowly like this. And if you're using a sharper needle, you don't want to poke yourself, so also be very careful. Alrighty, and all I'm going to do is sew all the way down at the bottom, and I will meet you down there shortly. Alrighty, so I made it down to the end, and yeah, you're going to hear my chair squeak again. So I just have a few more stitches to sew into real quick. And there we go. So we're just going to turn our work until we see these last two stitches on the top right here. So this one right here and then this one right here. Okay, so we're just going to put our needle right through, pull through, put my finger on top in just a minute after I put my needle back through there. Okay, so we're going to put our needle right back through there, making that loop again. And then we're going to put our needle right back through that loop, put my fingers through to hold it and make a new loop, pull up, pull down, put the needle back through that loop for the very last time, pull on it until you hear the click. There it is. And then put my needle right back through. And then we're just going to take our scissors real quick. Sorry, my chair is squeaking. And there we go. And that part is done. So now we are finally finished with section three of the middle section of the Batman blanket. I'm going to pull out my camera and show you all of the parts that we sewed together. So there is 3.1, 3.2, and 3.3, and there is 3.4. Okay, so there we go. All sections are sewn together and on top of that as you can see that big large black section that is going to be the bat's body and this section over here will be the second part of where the wing will go so this will be half of a wing and then uh, when we sew 3.2 to 3.3 you'll see the other portion so we are getting closer to the head which will be up here for 3.4. So thank you so much for joining me for Batman middle section, sewing together all ports of section three. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to scroll down, hit that like button to let me know you are enjoying this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more unique crochet tutorials such as these ones and others I will do in the future. When we are done with this Batman blanket, I will be working on a cardigan. And this cardigan will be a Marvel character. And then I will also have another video along with that cardigan doing the Batman baby blanket. That one should be a lot shorter than this one. This one had a lot of parts to it. It was a very big blanket. This thing is going to literally be over six feet long. And I believe it's going to be over five and a half foot wide. It is a very big blanket. Um, it is probably close to a queen size blanket. Um, yeah, it's going to be close to a queen size blanket, but it is very, very big. I, I didn't realize it was making such a big blanket, but we're almost done. Um, in the next section, hopefully we are going to start 4.1 and 4.2. So I'll try and have both those videos out as soon as possible. So again, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. And until next time, bye-bye.